chicken could never get into some Cornish hens today. I'm satisfied with life. I don't I just get by. I thrive. What a miracle to be up and alive. Hey, and welcome back. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Today I have a treat. We're doing Cornish hens. This was like a holiday special or, or special meal that my mother would make. And I've always loved it. It's not just a smaller chicken. It's much more juicy and succulent and it cooks super fast. For a heavier eater, you wanna do one Cornish hen per person. You can definitely get two servings out of one if you have heavy sides or, you know, for kids, they'll probably only eat a half. First, you see, I am cutting the back out. Um, one, this will allow us to have a very even cook and it's gonna kind of open up the bird so that when we do go to sear it, you get a nice crust. And this is why I love this method because it gives you a juicy, tender meat on the inside, but you have a real beautiful crust. Now when it comes to seasoning this, the world is yours and every time I do, I do something different. You can definitely do lemon pepper or any kind of compound seasoning that might, that you may like. Um, however, today I just did garlic powder, Italian, pollo asado, adobo, onion powder. Now the pollo asado is, uh, I love the taste of it, but it is salt heavy. So keep that in mind when you're using whatever seasons that you prefer that um, you want to evenly coat both sides of it. We're going to let it sit for at least 30 minutes, but, but preferably an hour or more. And that gives time for all those seasons and salt to pull into the hen. And that way when you bite into it, it just won't be seasoned on the outside. The meat itself will be seasoned down to the bone. Now, I didn't really talk about this, but if you want to clean your hen, do so. I cleaned mine off camera. Um, I know that's a controversial thing for some people, but it's your food. You're going to eat it. So if you want to clean it, clean it. If you don't, don't. One thing that I should have added, and I can't believe I missed it, was smoked paprika. This will definitely give you a great indoor grill taste if you choose to add smoked paprika. So just a, a thought about that. So now I just put my seasoned chicken in a bowl and put it back in the refrigerator and let it sit for an hour. Now in my pan, I have bacon grease and ghee. The reason why I'm using ghee is because uh, once you move, remove the milk solids out of butter, it doesn't burn. If you don't have ghee, that's fine. You don't need to do anything special. You could always use olive oil and butter mix to help with it burning or you could just use olive oil use what you have on hand but i find that the bacon grease and the ghee mix creates not only a beautiful crust but it just tastes amazing so i'm going to sear it until it's nice and brown on the bottom side of it and then you see i added a pat of cowboy butter which is just a compound butter that i will get to making and give you the recipe but you can use a compound butter if you don't have compound butter that's fine just put a pat of butter in there and then you're going to stick it in the oven that's 375 with the top one now my pan i can put it it's oven safe and the top is oven safe so i can put it in there in the same pan i sear in and you just want to sear it on the stove top because it's going to sit on all that great moisture it can give you a beautiful crust now, while it's in the oven, I flip it a couple of times and you see that beautiful char and that crust on that bird. It is magnificent. Probably only cooked for about 10 or 15 minutes. You see, I checked the temperature, make sure it is safe to eat and done. That's how you know, and that's it. I hope you'll add this to your family's meal rotation and I'll see you soon.